Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys about and giving a bit of a demo and review of the Reflector app for Mac OS X. Now they also have a Windows version but I'm going to be reviewing the Mac one. So I've got it on my iMac here and essentially what it is is an application that allows you to view the screen of your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch on your Mac or Windows computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it by searching for it here. And so you can see here's the icon here for Reflector. I've got the little menu here, I've got some preferences and things. But really to see it in action, I just need to get my iPad out and use it. So it allows you to use AirPlay to mirror your device's screen. So I'm just getting out my iPad here. And all I'm doing is going into the AirPlay um, menu, tapping on the name of my iMac and turning mirroring to on. Now you should see the iPad screen come up in a second here, and here we are. So I have it set to automatically go into full screen, I'll just make this smaller. And then here's my iPad, so no matter what I do, uh, you can see whatever's on my screen. So all I did to join that was just come into here, I just went on to AirPlay, tapped this, and turned on mirroring. So that's as easy as it is, and this can be really good for people like developers, or people like me who make YouTube videos and tutorials and things. You can drag it around, it gives you all sorts of options. So if we come into the menus here, under device, you can enter full screen like it was in before. Uh, you can change the skin, so I can make it as if it's a black iPad. I'll just put it back to what it was here. You can actually record just the screen from within it. You can change the scale to half size. We can do whatever we want, it was on actual size before. I can say stretch to fit. So again, you can do whatever you want and it's actually really customizable. So it's quite a fully featured app. So then there's a few other things here. So you can do force the landscape orientation. Um, and so this may stuff things up. I'll just try to um, get rid of that. And so then we've just got window, help, nothing really important there. We can come into the preferences. We can choose what sort of devices to optimize it for. So if you're trying to connect other devices, iPods, iPhones, other iPads, you can change the settings in here. So then you can also change the AirPlay name or you can just have it set to automatically use your Max name. You can add a password for connection and you can do all sorts of things here and you can change the background in full screen. Uh, so I really love this app, I think that it's good. You can get it for $13 online, unfortunately it isn't on the Mac App Store, uh, which is a bit of a disappointment. But I'm going to give this app a solid 4 out of 5, uh, because it does something quite unique and it does it really well, and I just think that it works and looks great. So thanks very much for watching this review, I hope that you learnt something and that you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment, rate and subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys later.